Hey folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play for Sims 4. I am a huge fan of The Sims. I've played every version, I've owned every, like, expansion, every everything for The Sims. Um, but I haven't actually played a ton of Sims 4. And last time I did a Let's Play for it was a couple of years ago. Um, and uh, I can't remember, I think we went like 38 episodes or something like that before we uh, we got a little busy and we had to put it aside for a bit, but had a ton of fun. Um, I know it does seem like a little unusual for the channel, but the fact of the matter is, and I always say this, The Sims is the greatest role-playing game ever. Like, computerized RPG, there is no stronger role-playing type game than The Sims. With the exception, of course, that it is a sort of real, everyday life role-playing system. But the sheer number of skills, career options, relationships to build, the ability to have your own home, which so many RPGs lack, that sort of thing, I've always thought was a huge whatever. I don't know. I love The Sims. Big fan of it. The whole house over here is a big fan of The Sims. Well, maybe not the Briarstones. I don't think he's played as much, but... Kiss for Luck and um, and Essentia, we've all played a heck of a lot of it. And what's funny about The Sims is that everyone plays a little bit different. Um, Essentia basically spends all her time in the character creator. Um, a Kiss for Luck basically spends all her time designing houses. Whereas I'm focused on the sort of core gameplay itself. I want to win at the game. You know, I want to get all the careers, all the money, all the all the everything here. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and created myself here. This we will be playing with. Well, at the time of making the video, all of the ex. Expansions. That is to say, if I bring up the list here properly, uh, right over here, all of the expansion content, which is uh, Sims 4 City Living, uh, Get Together, and Get to Work. Those are the three expansions. There's also four game packs out. I only have three of them. One is Dine Out, Outdoor Retreat, and Spa Day. I don't have the Vampires one because I wasn't as interested in that mechanic, uh, and I don't have any of the stuff packs. Um, and so the difference between the expansions and the game packs mostly is the price and how much content gets included. So the City Living one is the one that came out just a couple of months ago, and I hadn't played yet, and it turns out it's quite cool. First of all, I love the fact that we are indeed in a city and we have apartments. I think that's fantastic. The other thing are the careers that get added in here. Um, there are three new ones. There's politics, there's critic, and the one we will be pursuing on this particular Let's Play is um, the, I guess I could have used the computer or the phone. Here's queued up to use the, the phone automatically. Is the, what do they call it? Social media? Something like that. Hold on. Let's bring up the list. Mm. Well, I have a little bit of uh, caffeination. There we go. Select career over here. Um, the other three here that I haven't really played, these are from the Go to Work expansion. I tend, I bought a bunch of them, the expansions, a while ago when they were on sale. And I never got around to really playing them. What's cool about the three careers is that um, the ones with the green checkboxes here, uh, or green play things, is you can actually go to work and play in those careers as opposed to just sending your people off to work and then you just wait until they come home again. So you actually get to have these very interactive careers, which is kind of fun. Um, and I've only dabbled with them, uh, well, scientists slightly since um, since playing more recently. So that's about it. But the new ones are Critic. I don't think there's a real note here about it, but Critic, Politician, and Social Media, You these are the new ones in City Living and you can actually work from home for these. Uh, which is challenging. It's not as easy as just, you know, pushing the button to send them to work. Um, and then, you know, getting a reward based on how good of a shape they were in when they went off to work. You have to do quite a bit of work to complete the at-home assignments. But it's a lot more interactive and, I think, considerably fun. So we're going to do that. I don't remember Tech Guru. When did that get added in? I remember they had a... Did they have a hacker profession? Maybe they didn't have a hacker profession, but you could just hack. And that's the other thing. There, There's the, the non-profession professions, in a sense. I mean, there is a, a writer and a painter profession here, but you could also just sit at home and write and paint, or uh, you can do photography. There's a bunch of things you can do to make money uh, without having an official career for it. Uh, you can grow garden, bake, all kinds of stuff like that, open shops, and open restaurants, actually, as well, with one of the game packs. But we're going social media. So the cool thing about this is at once we get to level... I think once we get to level four in the career, there will be a, there's two branches to choose from. One is the sort of marketing aspect of it. Oh yeah, pers public relations. But the other one is internet personality, including the ability to play games and have people watch you do that. What? That's crazy. So here we are, we're gonna go ahead and jump in there. And there's me getting all happy about that. We get our first assignment here, first work assignment that uh, to do from home, and that's to create our social media profile because we don't have one yet. So we're going to start off as a media intern. We're going to use the computer and we're going to go social networking and create social media profile, which I think was something that was added into the game a while ago, but now is part of a career. So we've got that. So 
we are going to create a profile. That's our work from home assignment. And there we go. Other than that, what we're going to try to do is get ourselves in a playful mood before work tomorrow at 9 a.m. But I'm going to try to work from home if we can do that. So this is my house. Um, I went, I um, mean, just picked one of the apartments, one of the cheaper ones. It's more of the affordable one bedroom, one bath. Oh, looks like the welcoming committee is here. Um, I did go and start it without any furniture. So all the furniture you see, I placed down. I tried to, I was on a tight budget. So a welcome wagon is here. So let's go and say, uh, let's, let's invite our neighbors in. Hello, neighbors. Stop, stop chatting on the internet. God damn it. He's just like me. He doesn't want to be sociable. He just wants to t hack away on the computer, play video games, talk to people online, shit talk on Twitter, that sort of thing. So let's say hi to... These are my neighbors on the what floor over here. There are three other apartments. <laughs> and these people are going to be here having a little chat about babies and diapers, apparently. So they're coming in. Uh, I should probably go and join them. Someone brought fruitcake. Oh, that's so nice. So let's go and see. So this is Raj. I'm going to thank you for coming. Thank you, Raj. Uh, so what was your last name? Buena Fuen. Oh, I have to keep the mouse over a little longer. Rosoya, and is this your Jasminder Beta? I don't know if they're the same people. They're the same couple. We'll go and say hello to you. Who do we have over here? We have Geta. Oh, greet new neighbor. Didn't notice that option. Geta Rosoya. I think she's the one who brought the... Uh, no, no, Jasminder made the uh, the gourmet fruitcake. Excellent. That's wonderful. Let's all have a slice of that. And who's the last person here? Oh, it's Essentia Monica is one of my neighbors. Oh, well, she's kind of a cute girl. I don't know. I mean, I'm probably going to be shy in front of her, but who knows? Maybe, maybe we will we will pursue that for now. But for now, we're just going to, I guess we've already said hi because we're all in conversation. Gossip about neighbors. They're right here. We'll thank her for coming. So we're in a group chat here, getting to know everyone. Can close that down a little bit. Everyone's having a happy, well, actually, no, oh, no, everyone's in a happy mood. Oh, you're just in a fine mood because you're just sitting down, but I'm happy. We decorated, good environment, excellent. I'm happy that I did a good job. Are you she's looking, going to check out my computer? Oh, I love it. Yeah, no, go ahead. That's, there's a stranger using my computer. This is totes inappropriate. I don't like that. Who, like, I mean, you really, you couldn't go two seconds without, like, going and chatting online. You know what? A girl after my own heart here. Um, apparently I'm having backwards discussion. Let's go ahead and, uh, we're going to take a piece. Let's have some, some fruitcake here. Mmm. What are you going to do? Oh, you're going to sit over there. I like my, my sofa. For some reason, though, uh, and I may have to make an adjustment. When I tell my character to watch TV, he do normally does it standing up. He doesn't automatically sit on the sofa. I don't know if it's because of the angles. Maybe I'm slightly confused. He can watch TV from here, though, so that's fine. I like how I'm sitting on my own eating this. I'm just not social enough. These people are totally functional, and then the two of us are like, one of us is on a computer, one of us is just sitting alone in the corner eating some fruitcake. I think it's a match made in heaven, y'all. So we're going to talk a little bit about my traits. I've set as my, I guess, my grand ambition here. I just set myself to Renaissance Sim. This represents someone who's interested in all the things, wants to learn a huge variety of skills, um, and, you know, just, just learn to dabble, kind of jack of all trades. Oh, we're actually having a conversation now. She's done chatting. Excellent. Wonderful. Um, we have also my personal traits over here. Geek and bookworm. Quick learner is a side effect from Renaissance. I have another trait, don't I? That's just a bonus from Renaissance. Don't I have a third trait? Geek, bookworm. Oh, and um, did I not take foodie? I thought I took foodie. It might not just be showing up over there. We'll take a look. So I should rejoin the conversation. Actually, maybe I could just, like, you know, there, we'll, we'll compliment. Oh, we could get to know people. Let's see, that's under friendly. I mean, there's the, the contextual screen, but there it is, get to know. We should go and talk to Essentia after that as well. Um, here, we'll ask about her career. Enthuse about fruitcake. Excellent. That seems like the sort of like small talk we would do. Um, get to know, there we go. That'll give us uh, some clue about uh, their interests and that sort of thing. Welcome wagon party's almost done. Uh, Essentia's a politician. At Concerned Citizens of Maishuno, which is the town that we're in. That's a new town that was added with the city, city living expansion. So we get these, uh, we get the, the apartment stuff. There's going to be a lot of interaction via the, the uh, apartment mechanics that are going to be kind of interesting as well. We get this new town. We get a bunch of festivals, which are going to be a lot of fun to play. And the three careers. Well, plus plenty of furniture and mechanics and that sort of thing. What are you doing? Are you, like, mocking someone about death? There's a tombstone. Uh, we will give you a heartfelt compliment, and then I think we're gonna ask, like, we can just wrap up the uh, welcome party a little sooner. 
we got stuff to do. We're not super social. We're like, oh, I'm, I just moved in. I'm, I'm super, super tired, you know. Uh, Essentia is good as well. So she's a good, kind-hearted person. We know that about her. All right, let's let's ask people to leave. Um, yeah, okay. They're, I think they're already leaving because the party ended. Excellent. Get off my computer! Yeah, you're already leaving. Excellent. You're going to turn on my TV. No, get out. Leave! <laughs> what the hell? He's like, oh, dude, I'm just going to stick around and watch him. No, you're not. Get out! Goodbye. I mean, this is a polite, a polite ask to leave, I think. Let's turn off the TV. Did he? Oh, okay. Should be going now. Yes! Yeah, get out. Get out of my goddamn house. All right. So we've created a social media profile. I guess we'll turn on the TV. We, for a renaissance sim, we would like to read some books and also achieve some logic skill. And it seems like a good idea to maybe go ahead and do that. Oh, I should uh, I should refrigerate the uh, rest of the fruitcake, clean up that plate. And we can consider starting some books. Now, we don't have any skill books in here, so we may want to invest in some. So lots of different categories of books. The skill books are the ones you read to learn things. Um, it's often a good idea with your Sims to go and learn the first couple levels of cooking so that you don't burn your house down as much. Although this apartment, well, we'll discuss that, actually uh, gives us quite a big bonus to cooking. Still, it's probably a good idea to do that. I mean, I like to cook, and this is me. So it seems like one of the things we'll want to do. Um, also, specifically for the, um, the Renaissance Sim, they specifically want us to hit logic level three. So we can get a book on logic, you know, puzzles, chess problems, that sort of thing. You can also learn logic from playing chess. Um, and we'll leave that be for now. So we'll get a couple of books. We'll have to figure out what our third one's going to be. I left myself some extra money. I haven't finished decorating this place. Although I kind of like, I didn't want to go too Spartan. Like I'm, I'm sort of drawn to those kind of neutral colors, but it can lead to a really plain look. So I thought going with these red accents might be fun, but I need some wall coverings too. But I want to save a little bit of money just in case things end up going not so well. So with those purchase books, I'm going to start by saying, um, let's read the cooking book. I think that's going to be a very good idea. That's mostly how we'll spend a lot of our first day here. Just getting a couple of basics before we go and venture out into the city. Although there is, um, I think this bulletin board. Oh, we can leave affirming notes there. But we can also find information about, uh, yeah, we got the cooking seal, about a variety of events that might be happening in town. There's tons of festivals and they're a hell of a lot of fun. Um, in particular, I'm interested in the uh, the World Spices festival and get in the, the spicy curry eating competition, which is a thing you can do, but you can train up like it's not, I don't think it'll be listed as an actual skill. Where are the actual skills over here? I don't think it'd be listed as an actual skill, but your ability to deal with spicy food is something that develops as you eat more that and chopsticks as well uh, for eating things like pho. So we'll be looking into trying some of those things and seeing how much of a spicy palate we can develop. So I guess we're going to go to speed three here while we have Mr. Quill. Mr. 18, reading the cooking book. Oh, there's Essentia. Let's be, let's be creepy and spy. What's she doing? Is she leaving a note? <gasps> she left a note. <gasps> Quick, let's go, let's go read the note. Go, go man, go. Let's not be too creepy. What does the note say? Is it an affirming note? Oh, unexpected affirmation from affirming note. Last four hours plus two happy. Well, that's a good little moodlet. Come knocking on our door anytime. We'd love to get to know our neighbors better, is what the note, note says. Well, I'll leave a note too, and then I'm gonna go run away and hide inside the house. Keep reading the book. Do do do. Oh, we gotta use the loo here. So yeah, so I got my apartment. I changed the, the color of the lights to be a little less yellow. We got nice sunlight coming in here. Actually, we can go. How do we go into camera mode? There we go, like this. And if we drop down and look out the light, oh, it's construction over there. Not the best view in that angle. Some of these windows are a little bit better than others. Look at that. You got the highway in the background, a bunch of billboards. Hopefully we don't get too much traffic noises in our apartment. Got some people walking around down there. Like this expansion feels very, very lively, which I like. I like how much stuff is going around outside the windows. Oh, I think we just, uh, I think this is my landlord just texted me about landing a job. Also, hey neighbor, I'm bored. Want to hang out for a bit? Oh! All right, um, sure. I'm super antisocial. Didn't I? Didn't I mention that? But uh, but Greta's back or Geta, Gita, Gita. That's like um, Dan uh, Danish maybe. I knew I know a, a a Gita from Denmark, so that's what I'm assuming. Okay, I gotta go pee here. Sorry, I was way into this cookbook. Are you gonna use my computer too? Is that why you came over? Well, I mean, admittedly, I'm 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 busy peeing right now. There's a door in my bathroom, right? 
Yeah, okay, there is. It looked a little weird with the walls down. Um, yeah, wash your hands. You're feeling a little bored. Well, I'll, I'll try to brighten your day. I'll tell you a, a joke about ducks. There you go. So the first duck says, I am a duck and I like to blow bubbles. Okay, let's stop that there. But she's, you know, she's bored, so... Oh, she's feeling energized right now. That's good. I've acquired the comedy skill. Look at me, I'm funny, you guys! We'll brighten her day. Maybe we can find out something about her. Um, ask about career. You know, are you still working? Are you retired? What else we got? Um, we could discuss some of her interests. Is there a get to know? You can only get to know so often. I think I've already a I tried to get to know her once. Talk about books. I'm reading this cookbook. It's really exciting. Gita is a food critic! Really? For the newspaper? I'm a bookworm, so I like talking about books. I like big books, and I cannot lie. Where are you going? What's up? I'm going to go back to reading my book, apparently. Oh, you're, you've got to go. You're going to work out. Like, sorry, I just remembered. i got to get to the gym. And I'm like, sorry, there is no gym. It's been replaced with a restaurant, but more about that later. So let's reread. So you've already finished reading this book. Although you haven't finished your, your skills. So it counts as having finished it. We're rereading it at this point to be able to properly absorb the knowledge. Um, we have to get up to skill four in cooking before we can go to the intermediate cooking books. And I think we continue to get a benefit from this until then. My plan, though, um, what's our actual cooking skill? Yeah, it's still on a one. I'm going to keep reading this and I'll get to, until I get to a two. And then most likely we will stop and we'll just gain some more from passively cooking. It used to be in previous versions of Sims that as soon as you got past two, oh, she's back already, you would instantly, oh, we, we energized her. Remember, she hit the energize trait and energize makes you want to exercise. So I think that's what happened there. What do I want to do? I want to send a happy text to someone. What else would I like to do? I would like to do some cooking. I'm going to keep that pinned. We'd also like to watch some public access TV. Well, that's really easy to do. I'm going to put away the book. Are you coming back? You picked up my cookbook. Okay, well, I'm going to do some cooking. I don't know if she's sticking around. I will... Um, we still only have level one, so I'll just make a garden salad. Now, we should talk about apartment traits. Well, this is one of the things, or uh, I guess lot traits is what they call it. This is one of the things that was added in City Life. Um, every lot has a certain personality applied to it. Um, and in City Life, uh, every one of the apartments comes with one hard-coded in. This apartment has gremlins who may occasionally at night break all my stuff. Uh, it also had some empty slots, which I added fast internet. That's what I figured why Quill decided to come and live here. It has really good internet, and that sounds really good. It also has, it's considered chef's kitchen. There's something about the vibe here, about the layout, or something like that, it makes you feel more inspired. Um, apparently, internally, it does something like effectively give you plus three, plus four to your cooking skill while you are cooking in here, so we should be able to make things that are considerably better. Uh, this is the sort of thing, you can add these traits apparently to all existing lots. Although only the apartments, I think, in the city living have traits locked in. But we are inspired here, and it's from the, the lots traits. Chef's Kitchen, plus one inspired. So, and we should be able to make some excellent salad here. So yeah, she's still sticking around. I mean, we could tell her to leave if we wanted to, but you know, it's fine. I'm gonna pour myself a little bit of extra coffee here while, while we cook. Oh, that's the inspiring note. Happy and boosting inspired. Mm-hmm. Hey, there we go. We just hit level two of our cooking skill. We can now make eggs and toast, BLT, chips and salsa, and fish tacos. Also learned a cool new combo add trick move. Interesting. Interesting. I haven't played with a lot of new mechanics. I've got, like, the dine-out thing and never gone around to it. You're still cooking, right? Yeah. Woo! Um, fail. That's not how you toss salad. Yeah, use those use those uh, spoons. There you go. Salad complete. Pour it into a serving bowl and grab some. It looks a little brown and wilty. Quality excellent. No, it's good. Vegetarian safe. Seven servings left. Lovely. So we'll get a bit of nosh. And then we're going to watch sports. Did we actually finish our plate? Well, first of all, we should um, clean up what's left of the fruitcake over there. I think I'm going to ask her to leave. It's getting awkward. It's getting super awkward. Goodbye. Excellent. And I'm going to make sure to uh, uh, maybe lock my door or something. I don't know. That's fine. Uh, let me... We're going to uh, put away the rest of the salad. So that's refrigerated. So what do I want to do? Oh, yes. I want to view a piece of art. I want to give some of my apartment key. That'll wait. Uh, we do want to watch the TV. What time is it? Okay, it's quarter after nine. It's a little late to go out. So we're going to watch... 
a little public access TV. Get informed on the happenings in the city. And my TV is... There it goes. I was going to say that's pretty crummy. You want to buy a bubble blower? No, we're not going to do that. You want to chat with Jasminder? Yeah, maybe. Oh, I'll leave these things be. You'd like to view some art. Whoa! Some people are wooing in there. So this is my this is my civic channel. All right. Well, that that was good. Um, you know we still have plenty of energy. We're still green. Let's go. We should go downstairs. So we're gonna go ahead and use the elevator to go downstairs. We're gonna explore our district here. We are in the spice market district. It's got a few apartments. I think it's got um, one. Uh, I think it's got a karaoke bar. But it's got this little open square here, which looks really nice. So let's let's venture out a bit. What is this? We got a stack of just cartons over here. We got some street art. Oh, some unfinished street art. We could continue it, but I think I would mostly ruin it more than anything else. We got someone playing some music. Some basketball. Oh, we got a foods cart open. What kind of food? Ooh, tacos, empanadas, bean and cheese burrito. Spinach wrapped veggie burrito. Tomato? How do you tomato? Oh, it's oh, it's the wrap that's spinach or tomato flavored. As I say, a spinach wrapped burrito would be like a good low carb option. Um, I don't think I'm super hungry. I mean, I had the salad and everything, but let's let's have a few taquitos. I think that's gonna be okay. Actually, I'm slightly hungry. It was yellow for a second there. No, so we're gonna go ahead and grab that. Uh, someone wants to talk to me. Oh, that's me ordering food. Oh, and I'm still eating my garden salad. Never mind. Apparently, I brought it with me. So, no taquitos. No, I bought the tiquitos anyway. We're going to talk with Droov. Which one's Droov? I think it's this dude here. Hello, Droov. Nice to meet you. So, salad and taquitos. Well, that's okay. There is um, there's achievements and things for eating all the food. You actually can learn some of the recipes by eating some of the food out here, which is nice. We've got a fountain here. What do I want to do? Give someone an apartment key. Chalk, chat with Jasminder. I think I could call her on the phone. Read this sign. Oh, I'd have to walk over to it? Never mind. Because that'll tell us when the next events are. Oh, there's produce I can buy here. Oh, that's quite nice. Let's buy some produce. If we get some high quality one, we can make better food at home. Still, I'm carrying around my taquitos. Some apples, blackberries, carrots, cherry, onions. Um, tomatoes, something that I know we can put in a few dishes. Well, they're very expensive. See, this is what happens. You get these like little food markets and it all sounds really good, but everything's ridiculously expensive. So I'm not really interested in that. What? Look for snow globes. Okay, I'm still carrying around my taquitos. Should probably tell me to sit down somewhere. I'm gonna rummage around, what is this, like a bin of like free stuff? From the dusty depths of the free box, Quill has recovered one city skyline snow globe. And then with his dirty, dirty hands, he's gonna keep eating his taquitos. Oh, it came with some, um, some dip. Probably a little salsa in the cup. Ah, <gasps> green salsa. Who you talking, who's that? Hi, who are you? We're having a funny conversation apparently with Ria Data. I can show off muscles, uh-huh. Complain about the dish. I tell a story, I'm feeling confident. Quill has taken his first step in the culinary journey through the city. Eating food from the city unlocks the ability to cook it. There are 26 more recipes to learn. Get out and try more food. Yeah, that sounds good. So we'll just, we'll just trash talk a little bit. It is getting pretty late. It's after midnight. You know what, I gotta work tomorrow. Yes, I gotta work from home. But even us people who work from home have to be responsible for our sleep schedule. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Had a little chat, met a few people. Some useful contacts for later, that sounds fine. So let's go ahead and run home and go to bed, buddy. You're, you're good otherwise, yeah? So I'm just gonna click that button. There you go, oh, you were going to bed on your own anyway, so that's going to be fine. Have a good night's sleep. Did invest in a relatively good bed, it's one of the most important things you can buy. You don't wanna wake up after having a bad night's sleep on a rough bed. Uh, you also, it is really helpful if you can get a bed that recharges your energy super duper fast because you can actually lose one or two extra hours every day from having a bad bed and that is kind of crummy. So you got that, our hunger's currently fine. Ladder hygiene, so um, when, when's our day? I think our, our work day starts at nine. So, I mean, we're fully rested, so if we're gonna do anything. Well, okay, there's our hunger again, so let's go ahead and eat another serving of the salad. So you can do that. Oh, there's there's Essentia. What's she doing? I don't know. 
Is she going to go right on the board again? She is writing on the board again. I should go and read some more. Or maybe she read my message. Oh my... Okay, so here's my alarm. I work in about an hour. Do I want to go to work? In which case, my character will just leave for eight hours and do some things with potentially some ability to interact. But I'm going to say I want to work from home. I could also ask for a day off. Personal time off. But we're going to work from home. Um, I'm going to put the snow globe down. Environment three. Oh, it improves the environment. So it just looks nicer, you know? Um, actually, I can probably just drag you. Let's put you right there next to the computer. Excellent. Finish eating your goddamn salad. I'm not going to make you get dressed. You're going to be working from home here. So, we have some assignments for working from home. Well, you go pee, and then you can go and take a shower after that. So, normally, for a job, you just have to, you know, go to work in a good mood, and ideally, in an ideal mood, would boost things. Um, sometimes there's an extra assignment at home in between things, but they tend to be relatively easy, you know, a little homework. We have to level up our video game uh, skill. Then we have to take a photo at the Arts Center. Now, I think we can take photos from our phone over here. Yes, we can. So, our phone's got a camera. It's going to be good enough. We're going to have to take a photo from something. Maybe we'll post it online. Actually, speaking of online, after the shower, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to update my social media status. Let everyone know that I went down to the... Uh, the, st the Spice Market Plaza yesterday, I had, I brought down my salad. I don't know why. I was like, I made the salad, but I didn't want to eat it at home because people kept coming to bother me. So I brought it with me. I was the weirdo walking around with a bowl full of salad. And then that wasn't enough. I decided I also need to get empanadas. And while I was eating the empanadas, I rooted around a dirty box of someone else's trash and found a snow globe, which I'm proudly displaying on my desk, even though um, I haven't washed it or anything like that. Oh, it's quite nice, actually. Hey, look at that. They called it the city snow globe or something, and indeed, it is the city, and it is snowing. Hmm, can't do anything with it. It's just there. Make the environment slightly prettier. So yes, that's going to be our little social media post. Um, and then and then we're going to play games. I mean, what a hard job. Could you imagine having a job where you, part of your job is playing video games? Ridiculous, I know. But it happens sometimes. We're going to just put a cut in here at this point, and we are going to continue with our second day of The Sims, our first work day, in the next episode. Hope you enjoy the series. Um, I'm, I love this game. I always have a lot of fun with it. Uh, and I don't know how long it'll last. I'm probably not going to make this a long, long, long series, you know? 10 episodes, maybe 20, something like that, um, at the most. Uh, we'll, we'll see, you know, maybe we can uh, maybe we can flirt with the girl next door, Sencha Monica over there. Who knows what might develop in that direction? Thanks for watching. See you next time.